Okay, so we're back with a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create an authenticated route. So right now we only had authenticate the user, but we haven't actually saved the session with the actual user itself. So we need to actually do that in order for our application to persist to know who's logged in. Okay, so this is actually fairly easy. All we need to do is we need to call this login function. So authenticate actually returns a query set and that query set has the discord user object. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, create a new variable called discord underscore user. And let me actually print out what that is just so you guys can see what it is. So let's re-authenticate and you can see it says query set and this is actually, it's, it's not really a list, but you can see that it is like a list. Okay. So in order to actually get this, we're going to do this. So I'm going to reassign a value to discord user and I'll do list discord underscore user pop. So we can get the first element from that list. And if I print it again, you're going to see that it shouldn't say query set, it should just say discord user object, just like that. Okay, so we need this object in order to uh, log in. So we're going to call this login function. Okay, and then we're going to pass in the request object, and we're going to pass in the discord user object. Okay, so let me actually re log in again. And this should work just fine. The problem is, is that we actually need to check to see if the user is logged in. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an authenticated route. So I'll just do that right over here. And we actually are going to import a decorator. So we're going to import from Django.contrib.auth.decorators. Import login required. So this decorator is going to allow us to create authenticated routes. So only if the user is logged in, if there's a valid cookie, then it will work. So we're going to use the login required decorator and we want this to redirect to a page if they are not logged in. So if they are not logged in, we're going to pass in this login URL parameter and I'll just do slash OAuth login. I think that's the correct route. I think, right? OAuth to login. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to go and define a function called get authenticated user we're going to pass in the request object and what we're going to do here is we're just going to return a json response for now so i'll just say authenticated now let's register this view or uh, this path so just the path auth user and the name will do uh, the same thing so if i try to go to slash auth slash user you're going to see that it actually redirects me. The reason why it's redirecting me is because we're not logged in. Okay, now let me actually take off that decorator and let's try to go back to the previous route, auth slash user. And you can see it says authenticated. So it's working because we had taken off the decorator. But why is it not working though? Because we do have a cookie. All right, let me actually open up cookies over here. We do have a CSRF token. We have the session ID. Okay, let's re authenticate. So we have the cookie. All right, but why is it not working? Why is it redirecting us? So the reason why is because we actually need to implement a function inside of our model. Okay, so we're going to go inside models.py and we're going to go ahead and declare a variable or not variable, we're going to define a function called is authenticated. So this is actually a built-in function that's part of Django authentication system, but we need to basically rewrite it ourselves. So we're just going to return true. And we also need to go back to the auth.py file and we need to implement the get user function. This is also part of the authentication library as well. But all we're going to do is we're going to have it try return discord user objects and we're going to get based off of the user ID. So user underscore ID. And then accept discord user does not exist. We're going to return none. Okay, so you need these two methods in order for it to actually ensure that it's checking if the cookie is valid. So let's actually try this again now. Okay, so now notice how it works. If I actually clear the cookies, if I refresh, it's going to redirect me. And if I authorize, okay, it's going to work just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and try to visit this route over here. And you can see it says authenticated. So it works really good. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much it. So if we look in the database now, 
And if I actually select from Django session, you can see that we have all of our sessions. Now let me actually delete from Django session. So we deleted all the sessions. Okay, now let's refresh and notice how it redirects us again because we are, we, although we do have a cookie, but that cookie is not valid anymore. So we need to re-authenticate. So let's authorize. It takes us here. Let's actually make it so that it'll redirect us. So right over here, uh, we will redirect, turn redirect, and we will have it redirect us to all slash user. Okay, and if we look over here in the database, we should have a session ID, which is good. So it redirects us here, and like I said, if we delete all of these sessions, okay, there we go. Okay, and we're not authenticated anymore. So that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, checking if the user is authenticated. And of course, what we can do is we can actually do one more thing. So be, I'm gonna end this video with this. So let's print request.user. Okay, and let me actually visit this route again. So you can see over here, uh, it says Discord user object. And I'm going to actually stop the app. And I'm gonna rerun it. And if I actually refresh, you can see it's, we're still authenticated. Okay, that's the power of Django. It takes care of sessions for us. Now, one more thing is that if we want to actually return the actual user data, remember we can't actually pass in the user object back as a response. We need to serialize it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to declare a variable called user. And I'll just return all these properties. There we go. So now we have all of our data. Okay, so hopefully all of this makes sense. Now, let me actually show you one more thing. I'm gonna take off the login required. And if I actually get rid of, uh, let me do this. Let me go back to the managers, or not manager models. Let me get rid of is authenticated. Okay, and let me actually visit this route. And you're gonna see actually, uh, let me see something real quick. Let me actually get rid of this as well. Okay, so you see how we're getting error now? So if we scroll up, you're gonna see it says anonymous user. Okay, that basically means we're not logged in. So this ensures that we need both this get user function and we also need the is authenticated. Now I actually read this somewhere on Stack Overflow, but so I just put that there, but it seems like it works even uh, without is, on the, is authenticated. I haven't thoroughly tested it out yet, but like I said, just have both these in there. And that is pretty much it. So hopefully this all made sense to you guys. I really hope, uh, you know, this all makes sense. So now what we can do is we can actually call this API to check to see if we are logged in or not. Okay. And that's how we're going to build any type of uh, web application using Discord login. So if you want to build your own Discord bot dashboard, you can easily do that now because we have set up all of the base requirements. Okay. So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.